In our class today, we're going to see how to take accurate measurements. So like I rightly said, when you take accurate measurements, you have, you've built the foundation for a perfect garment. And when it comes to measurement, we have two types of measurements. We have the, the vertical, okay, the vertical or the lengthwise measurement. Okay, so we have the vertical or the lengthwise measurement. Because there are two types. Why the second is the circumferential or the round measurement. The circumferential or the round measurement. So these are the two measurements that we need uh, for our garments. And you take this measurement simultaneously. You can't do without the other. As you're taking this, you're taking this as well. They go hand in hand. So for our vertical measurement, I like it, I normally like it this to close our graph in school. Like the X as is uh, the y axis, you have the x axis and you have the y axis, and you find the intersecting points. So for the vertical, we'll take it as the x axis, while the circumferential, we'll take it as the y axis, and we'll get the intersecting point. So when you find it, you can't do without y, and you can't do without x. So also with the vertical and the circumferential measurements. And here we are going to see uh, for the vertical measurement, it's a measurement that we we'll take from our shoulders downwards, you know, in a, in a standing position from our shoulder down to your desired point. Like we have here, for example, we want to take a measurement from the shoulder down to the bust point, or from the shoulder down to the waist. So that is the vertical measurement. Okay, then when you talk about circumferential or the lengthwise or the round uh, measurement, you talk about the measurement that goes across the body, okay? Like the bust measurement. Some people call it round bust, okay? Then you have the round waist or the waist measurement, and you have the round hip or the hip measurement. So these are circumferential measurements. Okay, so for various garments, like making a skirt, for example, I'm going to see taking measurement for the skirt. So the measurement that we need for skirt, we need the waist measurement. We need the waist measurement. We need the hip. We need the body rise. The body rise which is the distance from the waist, the distance from waist to hip. Then we need the length of the skirt. So the length of the skirt can be, it can be your desired length. It can be a short skirt, a knee length, a long skirt, whatever your preference, that's the length of the skirt. Then we need another measurement where we want to put that on our skirt, which is the tip to tip measurement. Okay, tip to tip, you call it the bust span. This is actually the right name. The bust span measurement, that's the bust apart measurement. So let's see how to take this measurement for skirt. Okay, so for the waist measurement, this is a circumferential, that's a round measurement. So you determine where your skirt sits. So if you're making a skirt on the abdomen, we normally keep our skirt on our natural weight, which is our abdomen. So you get your tape and place it round your waist, okay, where your skirt sits. With the hands by the side, so you don't take measurement that is either too tight or too loose. You don't want a skirt that is snuggy or a skirt that is too tight. Just take the appropriate measurement, something that just right. So you take the waist measurement and you read off from your tape. Okay, then we're going to see another class where we take, uh, we're going to teach on tape uh, reading. It's very important. And commonly we use the measurement in inches. Okay, we have on the reverse, we have the measurement in centimeters. So I'm going to take that later in the class. So we take the waist measurement, okay? Then the next measurement we're taking is the hip measurement. I always prefer to take my measurement at the side so that I'll, I'll be able to capture the fullest parts of the butt cheek. That the fullest part, the fullest part of the butt cheek. Because some persons tend to have ties that are bigger, okay? So you need to be able to capture those full measurements so that when the person sits, the skirt is not tight because you're not going to be standing all day. Of course, there comes a time that you have to sit down. So, because you're wearing a beautiful skirt, it doesn't mean you can't sit. So, this is one of the factors that you have to consider where you take the measurement at the fullest parts of the hip. So, person will have bigger ties. So, you'll be able to capture that measurement. Then, the next measurement we're going to see is the body rise. The body rise is a lengthwise measurement. That's the distance from the waist to the hip. The distance from the waist to the hip because there's some persons that their hip tend to be lower so i can't use my measurement for you though there's an average measurement though 
but you should take the measurement. That's where your skirt sits, that's your abdomen, to the fullest part of your hip, that's the boss cheek. Just use your eye measure to get the measurement, okay? From the hip, from the waist down to the fullest part of the hip. That's for the body right, which is a lengthwise measurement. Then the next measurement we are taking is the length of the skirt. Okay, for this we are going to take from where your skirt sits down to your desired length. So it can be a short skirt, it can be a knee length, it can be a floor length, whatever your choice, you take that measurement. So that's for the length measurement. Then we'll take our tip to tip or the bust span, or you call it the bust apart. Okay, and this measurement is taking the, at the distance between one nipple point to the other nipple point. Okay, so don't say because you're making a skirt, you're not going to use the essence of taking the tip to tip is for that. The essence of taking uh, the tip to tip or the bust span measurement is for that, and that's therefore giving what shape to our clothing. Okay, since our body, you know, our body is not all flat. We have areas that are protruding, we, are, we have areas that are inwards. So we need to capture these measurements. So that takes care of that. It sucks up the excess fabric, making your garment to sit right on you. Okay, so for us to take this measurement, we need the tip to tip. And what we need is because we want two darts. There's a dart here that faces one nipple point and the other dart that faces the other. Because our bodies are symmetrical. You can actually divide the body imaginarily. Don't divide with a knife, please. You can actually divide the body imaginarily with, or using your eye measure, into left and right halves, or into front and back halves. So that's why you have these lines here. Because if, like what I'm wearing, this is not at the center, I will be comfortable. I'll keep moving it because there's a middle, there's a center on my body. Our bodies is they are symmetrical. Also, at the side, when you're, when, you're, when you're wearing a garment and you don't have the seam right at the side, you tend to move it because this, this, this is where you know that it's supposed to be. So that's why you have this division here because dividing the body into front and back halves and into left and right halves. So when you take that dance measurement, tip to tip, one dance is facing here while the other dance is facing here. And there's a balance on your skirt or your garment if you're making a dress. Okay, so these are the measurements that we need. And when we have that for the skirts, okay, let's see uh, for the second garment, let's see for a, for a blouse. We're making a blouse, okay? So for this, we need a shoulder to shoulder measurement. So the measurement needed, we have the shoulder to shoulder measurement. Okay, then the next, we have the bust circumference or the bust round. Then you have the waist, you have the hip measurement, and here we take the bust span as well. I explained that, which is the tip, the distance from one nipple point to the other point. And these are like this, these are all round measurements. Okay, these are all round measurements. Then you come back to take their lengthwise as well. The, the lengthwise measurement you take uh, shoulder to you take shoulder to bust. Shoulder to waist, shoulder to hip, okay, and you take the, okay, we have the, the, the blouse length already, okay, so we have the blouse length, okay, so let's see how we take this measurement. So when making the blouse, we have the shoulder to shoulder measurement, okay, we are back to our body form. So the shoulder to shoulder measurement, you, you, you note the bone, there's a bone that protrudes here. Okay, from one shoulder point to the other shoulder point. If the person is quite chubby and you can't feel that bone, the person can raise the arm a little bit. It creates a hollow uh, uh, depth that you feel. When you don't raise completely, just a little bit. So there's a hole that you feel. So that's where you take your shoulder to shoulder measurement from. But those that are a bit, the petite size, the small size, the bones are actually protruding. So you can actually identify that easily. So you take your shoulder to shoulder measurement. So it goes across like this. From one shoulder to the other shoulder measurement. Remember, we are taking measurements for blouse. So we have shoulder to shoulder measurements. Okay? Then the next is the bust measurement. Mind you, we are taking all the circumferential measurements first. Okay? Then we take the bust measurement. You take the bust measurement, you take it at the fullest part, just like the way we took the hip measurement, at the fullest part of the bust. Okay? And mind you, don't squeeze. Take your measurement 
as appropriate as possible. Don't squeeze. Even if you are going to make a loose blouse, you don't do this. You actually apply the fullness when you are cutting your fabric. But your measurement should be appropriate. Taking your bust measurement in this manner. Then the next is our waist measurement. You take it at this point. So the waist here is the shapey part on the, on the, on the female um, figure. The shapey part. Mind you, this waist is a bit different from the waist we took for the skirt. The skirt one was around the natural, that's natural was around the navel area where most of us put our skirt. Okay, so we have the waist measurement. Then we we'll take the hip measurement, just like the way we took the measurement for the skirt. We we'll have the hip measurement. You take it at the fullest part of your hip, okay, and you snug it up and down to make sure you capture the fullest part of the hip measurement. Okay, then we we'll take the bust span. The same thing like that of the skirt. That's your tip from one nipple point to the other nipple point. Okay, so you take the measurement, that's the bust span. Okay, so let's get back to the lengthwise measurement. Now we're taking all the circumferential measurement. So for the uh, length measurement, we have the shoulder to bust. The shoulder is by the side of the neck, not at this, because we have a shoulder slant. You don't take the measurement at this point, rather at this very point. Okay, very close to the neck. Very close, just beside the neck. So you put the the uh, head of the tape there and take from shoulder to bust okay and the shoulder to bust it stops at the fullest part of the bust that's around the nipple point then we take the shoulder to waist shoulder to waist okay and where your tape is is where you have that symmetrical line that divides the body into back and front halves i explained that so just put the head of your tape at that side you take the measurement shoulder to bust shoulder to waist Okay, that's the shapey part of the woman figure. Then you take the shoulder to the hip. Shoulder to the hip. Okay, so use your eye measure to get the fullest part of the hip to take this measurement. Why? Then you take the length of the blouse. So your desired length. Okay, you take the length of the blouse. Okay, so that's measurement for a blouse. Then, then the dress is an extension of the blouse measurement. The only difference for a dress, this dress, the only difference is the length. Okay, the difference is the length. So for you to take a length, the length of a dress, you put your tape at the side of the neck and get your desired length. So it can be a short dress, a knee length, that's a three-quarter dress, length dress, or a floor length dress, just your preference. So that's the difference between the blouse and the dress. So for the dress, you take all these measurements, but the length now is longer than that of the blouse. Okay, so for the other one, we're going to see how to take measurements for. Okay, that's uh, we have number three. Let's see how to take measurement for the sleeve. Let's see how to take measurement for sleeve. Okay, so here we're going to take uh, the ample circumference. So here we have the ample circumference. Okay, this one. Then the next one, we're going to take uh, the sleeve length. The sleeve length, then we we'll take the sleeve width. We take the sleeve width. Some persons call this the round sleeve. So whichever is same thing is same thing. So we have the ample circumference, the sleeve length, the sleeve width, or the round sleeve. So let's see how we we'll take this measurement. Okay, so for this, for our ample circumference, you place your tape right. Sorry, um, rest from there's no arm here. You place your tape across your underarm. Okay? Across your underarm in this manner. Okay, so this is how you take your arm position. And mind when you're you taking these measurements, don't take it very tight because there's a joint here, a ball and socket joint, so you can be able to move your arm around. So you have to take these measurements in a loose form, not tight. Else, especially for non stretchy fabrics, you able to, won't be able to move your arm freely. So you take your arm post circumference. Okay, then the next is the sleeve length. Okay, so the sleeve length is your desired length. So you put your tape at that point that I explained, which is that bone we have here. So you put your tape here and take the measurement. It's either maybe a short sleeve, maybe here, or a three-quarter length sleeve, that's here. Or you take the full length sleeve, that's at this point. So if you notice, our arms are not all proportional. It's not straight. What you have here is bigger 
followed by here, while here is the smallest. So you need to capture the measurement on your hakam, so you can have a sleeve that fits. So if you're taking for a short sleeve, place your tape here and take your appropriate measurement up to your desired length, say 8 inches for example, that's for a short sleeve. Then you take the uh, sleeve width, okay, so this is how you take the sleeve width, okay, so you take the sleeve width at the length where you had taken your measurements. Okay, so at 8 inches, my round sleeve is 13. Okay, I'll just give you an example. Then if it's for a 3 quarter sleeve, you place your head of your tape at this point up to your elbow area. Okay, so at this point. Okay, so like mine is 16. Okay, then I take the circumference of this 3 quarter sleeve. So mine is giving me uh, 11. It's always appropriate for someone to take your measurement so you can be sure of your measurement. So I'm just using this as an explanatory video so you can understand because I've dressed for not to have the, the, the sleeve or the arm and area. Okay, so this is 11. Then if you want to take from the full sleeve, you have uh, from your shoulder bone down to your elbow, so down to your wrist, then you take the round sleeve at this point. So like mine is 8 inches. Okay, so I've taken my short sleeve my three quarter sleeve and my full sleeve, like me, me making the sleeve like this, I need to capture all the measurements at the short, at the three quarter, and at the long sleeve. And I take their corresponding um, width as well. Okay, so that is about our uh, measurement on sleeves. So we're going to see how to cut each of these um, differently. Then uh, the other measurement we're going to talk about, which is the trouser measurement. Okay, the trouser or the pants. Okay, on the pants measurement. Okay, so for this, we're going to take uh, the waist, the waist measurement. We are going to take uh, the hip measurement. We need the uh, the tie, the tie or the lap. Okay, then we need the knee circumference. We need the ankle circumference that if you're making a long trouser or if you're making a short that's like a a, a, a short um, a, a short or a culotte you may not need to get this measurement but we need to capture all this so we can understand the measurement and we have another measurement which is uh, the crouch depth the crouch depth so we need this measurement when taking for pants okay so for this we're going to see the waist measurement just like that is the same thing with that with skirts. Okay, so the, for the waist measurement, this is it where your pants sit. Okay, that's around your abdomen. You take your waist measurement. The next thing is you take the hip measurement, just like the skirt also. Skirt and the dress and blouses. So you take the hip measurement. The next measurement, you have the tie and the lap. So you take it at the fullest part. Okay, at the fullest part of the tie or the lap. So you take the tie measurement. You take the knee. So around your knee, you take the circumference there. And mind you, just like the ample circumference, you don't make the tie very, very tight because there's a joint that you should be able to move your joints. That's especially for, for non-stretchy fabric. But if it's stretchy, you can actually get away with it. Then you take the ankle measurement. Same thing applies. You need to take it snugly so that your ankle, so your feet can get into your trouser for non-stretchy fabrics. Then for the crouch depth, Okay, you can just, um, you can take the, the measurement while seated on the chair, okay? Okay, so you can ask your client to sit on the chair. Let me get a chair here. Okay, so your client can sit on the chair, then you take, uh, Let's 